Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 2 for Absolute Beginners, and we are on the Downward Spiral, well, not as a character or a nation, but as a series. We are in 1427, we've got about 20 years to go in the game. We do about 10 years an episode when we're really trucking along, so maybe two or three episodes before we switch over to Crusader, or from Crusader Kings 2 to Europa Universalis 4, picking up right where we're going to leave off here as the Emperor Britannia. So that's always exciting, but the one last little bit of business is this one county here who is not bending the knee, Bedford Princess, Kinswith of England is holding on to Bedford. She has her troops raised up here. Uh, I guess she is trying to defend against the Holy Roman Emperor, which won't end too well for her, depending on how uh, many other people are joining the war. So the question is, do we just declare on her now, smash this army, make her lose both wars, or do we wait and see if she will march off somewhere? But she's landlocked, and I don't think she actually has any boats. So... Without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and um, just get organized before we start this war. That way we can be pretty hands-off the ruling side. All right, so the Archbishop. Can we pay you off, good sir? No, we can't. Can we pay you off? We cannot. I think we did this in the last episode. Oh, there you go. We'll improve relations there. Send a gift there. Nice, improve relations there. So now our Bishop can go to, say... Uh, where are you at, good sir? In Leinster. All right, so let's send our court chaplain. You're in Austria, but we will send you to Leinster to improve relations there. As far as vassals go, we've got 31, and we've got some good positive opinion, but we've also got a lot of negative opinion. We might be able to pay off some of these guys. Maybe, just maybe. Let's start at the top. 86 gold, that looks pretty good. Please don't flip my opinions like that. All right, 50 gold, yep, that is fine. 50 gold, that is fine. Just make sure that we keep these guys appeased and it's gonna get into our treasury just a bit, but we really won't need much money to continue as the only target that we have has 3,200 troops and it's just going to be a matter of me raising up, I think, my personal levy. I won't even need to raise any vassal levy, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we have 5,700 ready to go. So no, we don't even need to raise vassal levies at all to do the crushing. And if we do, we'll call in one of these guys here to help us siege down the county. But without further ado, let's go ahead and declare the war on my de jure claim for Bedford. I'm claiming it for me. Go ahead and send that. We'll raise up all of our personal levies, join them together right here, and then make them go smash smash. So we can pretty much keep it on speed three, I believe. 5,700, let's assign our commanders. We want our siege leader definitely in the center. Uh, finish J on the flank, sure, and Mchad on that flank, and go smash if you please. So this should be a very quick war. We're not going to worry about calling in allies because I think we've got this. I doubt she had any... I didn't look, but I didn't look to see what kind of pack she had. All non-aggression and a defensive, so no alliances. Which is fine for us, and she is going to stand right there with her troops. We're going to march in and do the smashy smash thing. She doesn't even have any leaders. Well, she's got one leader on the flank, but that is not too good for her. Yeah, no commanders for her. It's going to be a very quick and decisive battle. And she doesn't even have enough troops to do the siege. So our siege leader is in charge doing 4.4% every 12 days. I think we can just go speed four. We'll just let this tick on down. Uh, once we get this holding for the top holding siege down, we'll just smash that army a little bit. A Midas Touch Girl. I mean, that's pretty good for Marshall and stewardship. Um, let's see her stats improve here. There we go. So a 10 stewardship, definitely not bad. I'm sure she can do 
uh, some collecting of the taxes if we need her to. Spy Master, I do have auto plot suppression on. We've got two known plots. So we'll see if those go away. If not, no worries. Oh yeah, we're trying to kill Duke Aethwig of York. Now he is in line, if I remember correctly, to be the King of England. Oh no, he's not. All right, so I don't even think we need to worry about that anymore. We'll just go away from that so no ill um, ill penalties befall us with any loose lips, sinking ships, and all that other stuff. We definitely don't want to do that. All right, so top holding. Nice. So plus 20 there, that's what I'm talking about. And then when this holding falls... Oh, it looked like she tried to... Uh, to counter the assault and didn't work. Loaded fools, yes indeed. The, pri the price of decadence, that's fine. Oh, we lost a chunk there. Oh nice, improving relations even more. All right, top holding down, let's just go smash these guys a bit. Get some more war score. Uh, see if we can capture anybody of consequence, probably not. Of course, we'll auto save, do the work, smashy smash. 22 war score there. Ran back home, which, you know, wow. Our Chancellor is doing the work, plus 57. So that's 94%. I think one more holding and we've got it. 8.6 every 12 days, that should be fine. I think we need to find another person to send our Chancellor to because we have been mopping up fairly well as far as that's concerned. How about the Duke of East Anglia reigning in Norfolk? We can do that. Go ahead and improve relations in Norfolk, if you please. All right, we will let our uh, son-in-law do the sieging. Oh, we lost our chancellor. All right, is this time for our daughter to come in? Oh, the Duke of York, and he absolutely hates me, but he wants to be chancellor? Maybe he will get... I mean, that's some really good stats. Tell you what, you do that. Improve diplomatic relations in Norfolk. Maybe they will capture and kill you? I mean, I, I'm not going to wish ill on you, but... Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Yes, I am. Alright, so as this falls, this will definitely uh, go to us. We have a new duke here. 47, nice. Always good to get a new uh, duke and count in here that really likes us. Less that we have to worry about. Alright, time goes by so slowly. We could probably assault the last little bit, but I don't want any chance of, um, you know, uh, a threat to raise. So that's it. We'll offer the peace and enforce the demands. We are now her de jure liege, which is awesome. Now, I doubt she's acted dishonorably to me, but what I can do is stuff her under a duke around here like, say, the Duke of Norfolk. He's got 6,000 troops. That would give him more than me, but the Duke of Norfolk actually likes me. So, yeah, we're going to just transfer a vassalage and give him to... Oh, nope, that's her vassalage. All right, can we transfer vassalage, I wonder? I want to give you my unruly vassal. So there we go. A son was born named Ericade. Oh, so twins. A brother and sister. If I would have known that, I would have named him Luke and Leia. Anyway, we can hold a grand tournament, but that's fine. I think we're in chillax mode. Um, we'll basically just keep on going here. Unless we can press claims on Bologne. Bologne? That might be interesting. Huh. 4,000 troops. We just need to ferry something over. And he's just a regular old count. That's one more city uh, that we can hold. Anyway, how about our duchies? The Duchy of Essex. Yeah, we need to, uh, to kind of get rid of that. Where are you stationed at? In York? Uh, that should be fine. Do we have another son... No, we've got two sons that are counts. That's fine. Who has the least amount of troops? You've got 3,400, and you've just got three. All right, I'll grant you the landed title, the Duke. 
of Essex. That should be fine. Include the lower titles, please. There you go. Open council position for the spy master. Now, we definitely don't want a spy master that doesn't like us. So our daughter, the princess, will scheme in the capital. Seems good. And now we're 63 years old. I believe we will die once before the game is over. However, thanks to the, uh, the laws, and we can't do primo. Yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting. But they are voting for Finesse J, who is what everyone else is voting for as well, except for you. So we're voting for Finesse J, but the King of Wales might not be. So Duke Finesse J, wait, you're voting for another guy? Or is that another Finesse J? I do not know. Yeah, and this, uh, we need to improve some relations down here, I think. Go ahead and improve their relations there. We kind of want, before we die, to shift the, the vote away from uh, Wales. But the rest of them are looking good, but if we can get some more supporters, Duke Martin, Duke Kaifbad, and Duke Finesse J. There's Duke Martin. There's 97 bucks. Will you vote for my guy now? That would certainly be nice. Where's the Duke of King of Wales? No, he hasn't changed his vote just yet. Would certainly be nice to. It would also be nice to do primogeniture. No vassal has a negative opinion of you. Well, that's what we're trying to fix here. If we could get Wales in a state of primogeniture, that would be really cool indeed. How about England? So yeah, our guy is leading, even though you know the, the people of England don't like us, but we're starting to warm up to them, I think. Seeks to kill Roy of Wren, that's fine. Only one known plot, one prisoner. Who do we have? Finesse J. Oh, that was right. And uh, yeah, he, he didn't just act dishonorably to us, but he was going to be a big, big, big problem. So we were just waiting for him to die in prison. I guess we could banish him, couldn't we? Nope. All other vassal opinions. That's pretty terrible. All right, we need a new commander. An 11 brave, I like it. And an 11 brave. So it's the same, a Duchess of Albany. No, the bishop. There you go, you are now a commander there, Bishop. I don't know where we're exactly going to... Oh no, we're infirm. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. We're about... Emperor Gorgmas is about to kick the bucket. I believe. We're not able to go out and do much of anything, so we will be... Oh no! Oh, that that's, that's terrible timing. So Finesse J, the just, died of poor health right before he was set to inherit everything. Well, crap. So, Finish Che of Britannia. Alright, so we need to nominate real quick, fast, and in a hurry, Finish Che of Britannia, the Duke of Huis, the King of Wales, we're going to nominate. It just couldn't be simple, could it? Right before everything was going to be looking good. Alright, so... Yeah, you're primogeniture, Wales is elective, and we are voting. Brittany is primogeniture, he's going to be fine. Scotland is primogeniture, we're going to be fine. England, we are voting. Ireland is primogeniture, Britannia is primogeniture. We need a new commander. Alright, Ewa, the Duchess of Albany. Looks like you are in position. And I believe we need a new designated regent. Uh, the Duke of Man, who, let's just sort by the highest opinion, the Duke of Essex, who really, really likes us. You are our designated regent, good sir. And we may need him, because we may be kicking the bucket soon. All right, let's go speed three. Maybe some of these uh, votes are going to swing our way. Yes, indeed, some of them are. 
Scotland's good. Wales is still voting against us. All right, perfect. So we're starting to get some positive opinion. I stood by the stained glass window and tried to look through them when a priest approached me. Even though I'm infirm, I don't see how I can get to the window. A courtier by my side spoke before I managed to say some very unfair opinions about the multitude of colors. Prince Arcade in the stained glass window. He told the priest what he thought about the stained glass windows. Both looked inquiring until I managed to croak something appraising about the windows using Prince Arcade's opinions. The priest seemed satisfied and he beamed at me. Plus 10. So our brother really likes us. That's good. Duke Sabreth has inherited. All right, so that guy liked us, and so do you. That's good. Seeks to kill. Our kinsman seeks to kill our daughter. Well, that's no good. Finish, Jay. Okay. So righteous imprisonment has gone away, I believe, because we stopped that plot. Yeah, we've only got a few other plots to do. So the question is, do we try to... Hiring men for an attack against me, my brother. I hope he is not prone to accidents, huh? 48%. Well, let's see what we can do here. We'll go ahead and in invite everyone that we can. He literally has no troops. But he's two months away, from, or two years away from rising up. All right, five, three, six, three, ten. Let's go by plot power. Ooh, thirty-eight percent. That one's gonna be a good one. Join my plot, please. You'd be a good one. Join my plot, please. You'd be a good one. Join my plot, please. Boop, boop, boop. There's one hundred and twenty-two, and we do have some moolah. I mean, of course, more conspirators means more loose lips that sink ships. But I believe it'll be worth it to try to get rid of this adventurer threat. Yeah, and those 4% I'm not going to worry about. So even more. And where are you at? At court in Poitiers. Okay. Go to the location. The rest of my sons are nowhere near the abilities of Duke Finish J the first. He knew how to handle a sword and would have been a great emperor. Yeah, I know. 90% that we gain Craven, 10% we gain Brave. And that's us? No, Prince Rekbara of Britannia. I have no idea who that is. I really don't care. Okay, so you are raiding there. Let's send our spy master then to improve our plot power right there as well. So 160%. Surely something is going to fire. I don't think he's in hiding. He has a very low intrigue skill. Can I ask you to, to end your plot? Oh, he was already um, considering the offer. Sweet. All right, so when are these adventures going to fire? In 31. So two years plotting at 160%. Surely this will fire. And we've only got about 14 years to go or so. Now, if this guy comes with 30,000 troops, I am going to be, or 40,000 even, I'm going to be very upset because this... This guy only has 4,000. Apparently one of the couriers has been annoying my wife, Aston, instead of asking me for help. She took the matter in her own hands and made sure the courtier would never annoy her again or know the consequences. So, a bishop. Bishop Niall likes us at 60. And our wife likes us at 21. Well, I'd rather have the bishop like us. We are working on these religious vassals here. And the archbishop... Needs the most work for sure. Can we pay him off yet? 73 gold, we can do that. Collected a tithe. Perfect, that's exactly what we needed. And you are reigning in Derby. All right, so let's head to Derby. Send our vassal there. And being an archbishop? 
would our Chancellor be better to send here? The Fratelli Heresy has appeared in Gwynedd. Oh, no, 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 no. No, we're, we're going to need to get to work on that. When can we move you? Proselytize in August. So we're definitely going to do that. All right, so Finesse Che the Cruel is dead due to the dungeons. Nice. So he finally died in our dungeons. This guy kind of likes us. We'll send him a gift, sort of a welcome to the dukedom, as it were. I thought it was this guy we were trying to kill. Nice, our kinsman, plus 20. Keep making sure he gets positive opinion. All right, Duke Saberth seeks to fabricate a claim on the county of Moray. Well, um, yeah, I figured the auto plot would fire. Yeah, we need to do some proselytizing here. Improving relations with the Archbishop is nice, but I think he has a much higher chance to proselytize. Yeah, 25% chance of a conversion. So let's go ahead and get through these two months here. Has inherited the Duchy of the Isles. Nice, he likes us. I like the sight of that. We need a new commander. And no one with combat skill. You to have combat skill. Personal combat skill of one at an 11. Uh, you're, you're the boy. My wife Asta has complained. Of course she did. About me being absent so often. Maybe some sort of jewelry. Yeah, we can afford that. Uh, Ruby falls in love. That's what I'm talking about. Some nice, ju nice jewelry. We're at the end of days here. We're 65 years old. We're not going to stick around. Has procured a poisonous viper. Oh, nice. Don't point that thing at me. Poisonous viper. Has declared the revolt. Fraticelli's. All right, so we've got religious renegades. On top of the fact that we've got adventurer threats coming up in just a year. I mean, we might as well raise up all of our liege levies. And all of our vassal levies, too. Now, I think we can just raise up the levies here on Ireland. That should be fine. Failure. But at least no one suspects my involvement. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. All right, you come down here. All you all come down here. We'll deal with this, uh, this fraticelli fratricide thing and be done with that pretty quick. I don't think they'll be able to siege down the holding in the time allotted. All right, siege man, you are in front, armchair, you're on the side, and our wife? Sure, our wife will lead the flank. She's uh, probably feeling some frustration. And she's in love with me, so of course when I say, my dear wife, if you would like to throw yourself at the uh, charging cavalry, Please feel free. All right, everyone, go ahead and group up if you please. That's 9,700. Disease outbreak killed many of the besiegers. That's what I'm talking about. We've got another 1,000 on their way to deal with this. Now, while we are here, can we go ahead and send our guy to proselytize Gwynedd? And then if their county religion changes, does that end the revolt? I wonder. That would be very curious indeed. All right, 10,600 should be more than enough. You'll be kind enough to go over there and smashy smash if you please. All right, one child lacks a guardian. This is our imbecile. Minus eight everything. But it is our granddaughter. Oh, man. Our granddaughter, the imbecile. Um, yeah, it is a, an opinion boost. And that's literally all it is, because she's not going to learn a thing. So we can give her to Aethwig, the Duke of York. There you go, buddy. Have fun with our imbecile. All right, so we should route around and smash. No! What are you doing? You get in the center. You get on the flank. You do what I tell you to do. I'm the, I'm the emperor. I'm the one in charge here. We definitely want our center smashy smash. All right, here we go with the smashy smash. Kaboosh. And they do have a commander in the center, but he is, he's sucking. 
He's sucking wind hard. He is not doing all that well in the grand scheme of things. He's trying to siege it down. Didn't do a very good job. We're just going to have to either chase him down or end this war with one battle. 24%? Uh, where else is this revolt? Oh, enforce the man. There you go. All right. So Emperor Gargness has won. Felic, our courtier. And let's just get rid of this guy. There. Out of sight, out of mind. All right, everyone can go home. Sweet. So we have our court chaplain working on that heretic county. We're not holding a grand tournament. No one suspects the involvement, and we... He's going to fire next August. This coming August, you guys have 10 months to make this work. Tell you what. Seven more percent. There you go. Get in there. Four more percent. Get in there. Come on. Send the gift. Get in there. You. You. Oh, because he was doing plotting? There. Now, send a gift. All right, not increase it further. How about you? Send the gift. 15 gold. Get all the bishops up in this piece. We need to get rid of this guy. Now, if July comes around and we still haven't gotten rid of him, what we can do is stand up all of our troops. Lost a commander. All right, um, 11s. Um, Roy, the Duke of the Isles. We have a new Pope. And our boys like us better than the new Pope, that's for sure. Really? Really? 9,000 more troops just appeared out of the ether. Didn't we execute you? I tell you what. All right, raise everybody up. We'll raise these counties up again. I tell you what. You're starting to become tiresome. Hey, court chaplain, if you wouldn't mind, um, convert that province like you're supposed to do. All right, taking heavy losses. That's what I'm talking about. They're about to take some more heavy losses. Right across their face. And we're actually getting pretty close to the adventure time. All right, Widrick, Asta, and Bathney. Sure. Now you guys get over there. Do the smashy smash. Tell you what. Unruly peasants. Didn't they see what happened to the last group of guys? Too awful. Yeah, that's what I thought, too awful. Hopefully you get killed in battle so this nonsense ends. Oh, nice. Manure under the floorboards, just in time. There. Now enforce demands. You're now in jail, and guess what? Boom, executed. Try those, up. how you like them apples? All right, we need a kaboom to work. Come on, kaboom. Kaboom. Success. No trace of my complacency. Bam, he's dead. And the adventure threat is over. Just in time. What doesn't seem to be over is our court chaplain not doing his job here. The hel heretic stronghold and the religious unrest. All right, our vassal. So the Isle of Man, and he really likes us. That is awesome to see. Suspicious circumstances with a kaboom. That's what I like to see. No loose licks, loose lipsing ships. No, 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 no. We're not going to imprison a guy that likes us. In fact, I think the auto plot uh, will stop him dead in his tracks here. And then why won't you stop your plot? I think she just needs a little encouragement. There you go. 
So now is her opinion high enough to stop it? Countess Godifu of Surrey. Yep, that went away. Awesome, so no known plots. Six threats, very low, except for Aethwig, the Duke of York's. Now, is this the guy? Huh. So, let me see. Is Aethwig, 31-year-old, who really, really doesn't like us, outraged by the succession law change. Only 60% able to get rid of him. But he doesn't have, I mean, he is a threat, but he doesn't have a faction up with him, which is interesting. Hey, here's a gift. You don't want Gavilkind succession. None of you guys want any of this stuff. Ah, ha ha. You're standing on an island alone, good sir. Yeah, let's just pepper all these guys with money. We'll keep our succession laws in place through the rest of the game if we can. That's going to be the ultimate goal. And I need you to convert that county. What are you doing with your life right now? All right, speed four. Let's collect some moolah. See if he can convert that dang county. Oh, look at all these threats rising up. Nothing a little money wouldn't pick. Title loss. Okay. Our direct vassal of Dorset, our son. Yep, he has a point. Boom, one less vassal to worry about. So the Kingdom of Wales is in turmoil here. Our kinsman being voted on by Duke Siblane of Poise. And he's already maxed. Tell you what there, Chancellor. Why don't you head on over to Poise, if you please? See if you can get him to like us. Boom. Just like that. Oh, no. This is it. Where am I? Who are these people? Pretty colors. We are now incapable and infirm. We gonna die. What, two regents? Our daughter, taking care of us while we see pretty colors and are on our deathbed at 66 years old. Although she herself, oh, that was our oldest daughter there. 50 years old, she just had her woman face. Inherited the duchy. Nice. Let's just send him some, uh, send him some gold. Welcome to the duchy and all that good stuff. Arrange a betrothal. So our daughter, 21 years old, with Norway, Sure. We'll do that and get an alliance. Oh, yes. Offer vassalization. That's exactly what we want to do to a king. Hey, king, you want to be under my empire? All right, so the next combat-ready man is Sone, the hunchback. That hunchback can swing a sword, I tell you what. All right, the kingdom of Wales. Tell you what being this late in the game and about to die what I might do is destroy the kingdom of Wales but I mean that means we would just have a vassal here a king vassal so that's uh, that's okay it's going to go to our kinsman either way and this guy may kick the bucket he's got his old man face on he's gregarious he is ambitious I mean, that could be a be an issue. Why aren't you converting that county? This shouldn't be a heretic stronghold anymore. You have a what percent chance? Oh, 10% chance. Subject religion converted. I mean, that's good that the, uh, the guys inside Gwynedd are converted to Catholic. All right, late game tech. Temple Vassal Opinion will help get in money. We'll do that. Temple Tax. I mean, those kind of go hand in hand, do they not? I believe they do. Because with the higher opinion and then the higher taxes, as far as battle goes, heavy infantry seems to be the way to go. And why not? I don't know if we'll be able to tech up any more. Church infrastructure? Yeah. 
Nice. So that should mean more moolah for us. 22 gold a month. Certainly not the highest amount, but, but good. Now what is this? What is my Archbishop doing? Attacking Earl Swegan of Lancaster in the war to revoke Lancaster. Well, I mean, this guy likes us. <laughs> oh, the alliance has broken down. They no longer have any marriage ties. Ah, so, um, yeah, this guy, yeah, way the world up there, that, that's fine. The ruler is unmarried. Our wife died, was murdered on the orders of armchair. How dare you kill my 46-year-old wife? All right, so we need to find a wife quick, fast, and in a hurry. I mean, it's not really going to do anything but give us prestige. Um, the Countess of Osterich. Sure, we'll do that. We're married again. We're an imbecile. We're like tired and infirm. Ooh, 16. Holy warrior. Yes, you are a commander. And then we'll watch this battle. I don't know how this is going to turn out for uh, my vassal here, who seems to be throwing his troops all in. Will you not stop backing the ending the plot? Oh. All right. Another opinion boost. That's what I'm talking about. So did the vote change here in Wales? Nope. Kaithbed is still voting. Or Sabine is still voting for the other guy. Let's just keep him there. See if we can max him out. So is that our... Oh, that's the Lancaster army. So pretty heads up, but Lancaster looks to be winning. Hey, Archbishop, maybe you shouldn't have declared that war, huh, buddy? <laughs> He's trying to bring boats. He's going all around, that's fine. And we did. All right, we anticipated this. All right, we are now Emperor Finnish Che. So be it, and pause. All right, so now one of our vassals should be the king of Wales. Yes, indeed. We need to throw our money around quick, fast, and in a hurry here while we can. One title can be created, the Duchy of Gwynedd. Oh, we can do that. Give us a little bit more prestige, and then we can give that away to any children we have. Do we have kids? We have one. Finish J of Britannia. Awesome. Successor nomination. So we want to vote for whoever is going to be in line, and that is our son. All right, so the Empire of Britannia is our son. England is going to be our son. Scotland is primogeniture. Brittany is our son. Wales, we're going to nominate our son. Finish J. Oh, I guess we can't. Interesting. All right, let's get our council position set. Bromir, the Earl of Sussex, you are now our marshal. Go ahead and train troops in the capital, if you please. Steward, collect taxes. Spy master, you like us, thankfully, Gunhilda. And go ahead and scheme in the capital. We need to create some titles. We have all of our commanders, so we need a designated regent. And none of these guys like us a bit. <laughs> Man. Uh, Gunhilda, you are now our designated regent. Now what we need to do is we need to go through our court here and we need to start paying everybody off that we can. We have the money. We have the power. So let's just start at the top. 190 bucks, there you go. 154 bucks, there you go. 15 bucks, there you go. Um, let's sort by the rank. Let's get all of our dukes in line. All right, so that duke is good. That duke is good. See, where is send? There it is. 74 bucks. That count is good. This count, send the gift, 72 bucks. 
This counts. And the gift, 37 bucks. And we sent, yeah, we sent some money there. Who else has some rank that we can give money to? All these courtiers. Okay, that's fine. So we're all set. We're going to lose the election, the Kingdom of England. But I don't intend on dying in the next 20 years. We are 20 years old. This should be the character that we end the game with. A pretty good guy, a mastermind theologian. His martial skill is pretty terrible. So we lost about 5,000 troops. But we're not going to need them in the grand scheme of things. Duchess Caitlin of Connacht. Let's send the gift there. Grant a McLean, that's fine. Why did I not see you on my vassal list? Oh, because I'm in the court, of course. All right, so let's go through here. 130 bucks, that's fine. This Duke, 68 bucks, that's fine. Man, these people really, really don't like me. We'll be sending gifts to everybody that we can. We have the money, might as well use it to ensure that no one is going to try to stand up against us because now they're going to say, now it's time for election succession. Now is the time for all this, that, and the other because you are a weak king. You are a 20-year-old punk. And yeah, hopefully some of these, uh, these things get improved. Man, I tell you, we are public enemy number one. That's a lot of money thrown out. All right, why is everyone so upset? The too many held duchies minus 40. Okay, we need to give some of these things away then. That, that is fine. We can do some improvement for sure. So the Duchy of Moray. Do we have anything to do with that? We do not. We own one county? You know what? That's fine. Uh, who likes us between you and you? All right, you, sir, grant the landed title. You are now the Duke of Moray and all lower titles. There you go. Boom, 100%. All right, so now who else can we give a duchy to? Kingdom of Brittany. We are the King of Brittany. Looks like we might be able to give a duchy away. Duchy of Huis. Do we have anything to do with this? We own one county. How many other counties do we own? Osry, Dublin, Leinster, Gloucester. If we gave away Gloucester to a duke that really likes us. Yeah, our best friend, Countess Gunhilda. Can she be the Duchess? Yeah, the Duchess of Huis. There you go. Include the lower titles. All right, so now, how many duchies do we own? Two extra duchies. The Duchy of Kent. Do we have anything to do with Kent? We do not. Who likes us? 14, 59, and 51. You, my dear, are now... Wait, her heir isn't of our bloodline. Or passing outside the realm. All right, you are now the Duke of Kent. Good, sir. Congratulations. All right. Doing the good work. Getting some of these titles pared down. So, Gwened. We are the Duke of Gwened. Can we give that to our son, I wonder? Is he of age? Maybe. Grant the landed title. No, we can only give him a county at this point. We don't want to do that. So we have the Duchy of Gwynedd. Neath, which is just Dublin itself, and it would be crazy to give that away. And then the Duchy of Leinster, which is Osry and Leinster that we own both of, so we are not going to give that away. So we need to wait until our son grows up. We can give him the Duchy of Gwynedd. 51% chance. 
for the Duchess. Now, we're not going to Righteous Imprisoner. We are going to see if she will auto go away. All right, Aethwig, actually the guy that absolutely despised our father, is okay with us. 48 bucks for 52. There we go. So I believe now we're sitting in an okay place. <clears throat> what what did she do? Or what is she trying to do? I don't know what she's trying to do, but it, it's telling me righteous imprisonment. All right, so Kingdom of England will go away. We'll take a look at our laws here. My sister Margdoth is turning into an arrogant little braggart. I might have to rein her in a bit. So she is craven. She is content. She is arbitrary. She is diligent and she is proud. That is monthly prestige. No, she is. She has reason to be proud. Gain some of that prestige. That, that's all well and good. That's fine. All right, so who is voting in the Kingdom of England? It's three votes to one to one to one to one to one. We need Duke Osmond of Northumberland. Duke Osmond. All right, I know where I'm sending my Chancellor. Well, no. Let's send him actually to a vassal that we know is unruly. So the King of Wales. Yeah. We can send him to the King of Wales. Go to that kingdom. 51%. That is outstanding. Go to that king and do the business. Is that Catholic again? It looks like it is. So this is... It's Catholic. So it looks like we're good as far as the religious front. All right, so next up is going to Osri for you. All right, let us improve religious relations in Osri. Sounds good. All right, let's rely on our bankroll to come back. Let's watch this war kick off uh, because it's going to be sort of a drag race. Oh, he's moving in. Lancaster army is going to go wipe him out. It's going to be a knockout, drag out fight with our vassal, the Archbishop. And it looks like the Archbishop... Oh! Is the Archbishop going to lose? No, the Archbishop doesn't look like he's going to lose. Betrothed can marry. There you go. Two children lacks guardians. Alrighty. So we've got the twin, and we've got the twin ugly. But you are going to be a good steward, sir. Let's go ahead and educate you in the realm of stewardship. And as far as you, my dear, you could be a good diplomat. We will educate you in the realm of diplomacy. Sure. Sweet. Oh, so the Archbishop is trying to take the fight back. So the Archbishop may siege this down. It's going to be an interesting battle here. Arranged marriage between the Kingdom of Wales, our sister, and our kinsman? I mean, that would be a nice non-aggression pact. Sure. That's fine. All right, a troubadour and his wife. So Finesse goes up by 10, but he's our best friend. Or we lose some gold and we gain charitable. Good diplomacy, church opinion. Yeah, that is what I'm talking about. We will gain charitable indeed. And I think we already had it. Maybe I should have looked at that a little bit sooner. All right, so, wait, nice. Talking well to the King of Wales. Go ahead and boost him up if you please. And I think that's going to do it for this episode of Crusader Kings 2. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll go ahead and pause here. So we're in November 1434, and Europa Universalis kicks off 11 November 1444. 
So we are about 10 years or so away from completing the game. So maybe one episode or maybe two where I transfer into uh, Europa Universalis in the second episode. But either way, um, the series is almost over. We have done what we've come to do. Um, France looks like it's in a world of hurt and we might be able to pounce on that. I don't know if we could get a claim on this. <clears throat> Declare war here, and uh, yeah, we have no ca valid Castus Belly. This isn't part of the Empire of Britannia. And just uh, for giggles here, yeah, I think we do have every single holding in the Empire of Britannia, the de jure Empire of Britannia. We do indeed. So yeah, we're all set up to sort of watch this fizzle out. Let's get the... Uh, Let's get our vassals straightened out. We've done a lot of improvements here. There are only a few more vassals that need some buttering up here. Uh, the king and that duke there. And he is right on the fence. So hopefully uh, our son will become of age. When we do, we can grant him the Duchy of Gwynedd, which will get rid of everyone's penalty for too many hell duchies. The minus 10. Everyone will go up by plus 10. Then literally every one of our vassals will have positive opinion of us. We can possibly even get to the Kingdom of England, create primogeniture, and ensure that our son inherits everything again without uh, getting a vassal of the King of England like this guy here. But Sayerberth, he's taking care of all of this, which, which is good on him. That's very good on it. But that's going to do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next video of Crusader Kings 2. Take care.